Hello student, in the last my video, we learned how to draw the histogram. Now in this video, we learn how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of histogram and with the help of the coordinates of the points, that is the class mark and frequency. Now let us learn how to draw frequency polygon with the help of histogram and the points. Now here the table shows. The table below shows the net value that is the NAV per unit of the mutual funds of some companies. Draw the frequency polygon with the histogram and without drawing a histogram. Now let us look. This is the table. NAV in rupees 8 to 9, 20. 10 to 11, 40. 12 to 13 is 30. 14 to 15, 25. 16 to 17, 15. Now let us learn. That is first of all to draw the table. Now in the table we have the class. The classes are not continuous. Therefore, to make the continuous, first of all, the difference between the upper class of the first class and the lower class of the second class is 1, 1 upon 2, that is 0 0.5. Therefore, the subtract 0 0.5 from that and add 0 0.5 in the 9, and then you will get the continuous classes. But before to draw the histogram, we required the starting points. That is the first class, which is 6 to 7, and last, which is not included here, that is 16 to 17. The frequency is 15. And what about the next? 18 to 19. And the frequency is 0. Therefore, whenever we draw the frequency polygon, we require these two points, that is 6 to 7. Therefore, the continuous class is 5.5. .5 to 7.5 the class mark is 6.5 that is upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 and its frequency is 0 and the coordinates of the points are 6.5 comma 0 for the next class again 7.5 to 9.5 then again its a frequency is class mark is 8.5 and the frequency is 20 and the point is 8.5 and 20 and in this way we get the points continuous classes their class mark and the frequency and the corresponding their points now see the graph now see this here first of all the scale on the x-axis 1 centimeter is equals to 2 and on the y-axis 1 centimeter is equals to 5 points. The classes are 5.5 to 7.5, 7.5 to 9.5, and in this way. Now, again, here, right here, there is a class that is a net asset value and the frequency that is a number of the mutual funds. The scale on the y axis that is 1 centimeter is equal to 5 funds, and in this way, you get these the numbers that is the number of the funds 5 10 50 and in this way for the first the frequency is 0 for the second the frequency is a 20 in this way first of all we draw the histogram after drawing the histogram we take the first class is 5.5 to 7.5 frequency 0 and taking these points midpoints and last that is in between 17.5 to 19.5 and join this by using the scale you will get the frequency value with the help of the points now we'll learn then how to draw the frequency polygon without help of the histogram now in this case i have taken in this manner that is see this the classes are like this but for it we require the points and the first is 6.50 now see this here 
what is the point 6.5 0 8.5 20 10.5 40 12.5 30 and to draw that is the plot this point on this first is 0 second third fourth fifth sixth and last one whose frequency is 0 again the same scale is here that is x-axis 1 centimeter that is a 2 rupees and on the y-axis 1 centimeter is equals to 5 points now what is I had done here that is the same thing is here that is a 5.5 5 to 7.5 this is a regular class which is continuous and this is the class mark but it is shown here by dotting and made it there is a dot student gives always the confusion when how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of the coordinates of the points but i have tried in this way that is here you have the the classes continuous classes which we see here the same thing is here but i had here taken the only the points and the class marks are written here their points these are the they are the class mark and in this way student will not get the confusion the same classes are here enemy is there and frequency is on the on the y-axis i think that you will understand it because there is always problem that the student do not understand how to draw the frequency polygon with the coordinates of the points i think that they will understand this now my next problem that is draw a frequency polygon showing the information that is the weight of the children in kg 18 to 19 number of the children is 4 19 to 20 13 20 to 21 15 21 to 22 19 22 to 23 17 23 to 24 6 prepare frequency polygon with the help of histogram with and without help of the histogram the same thing is here but one thing is that the classes are continuous therefore we do not require to make the classes as continuous the first is 17 to 18 the class mark frequency and these are the points class mark and their points now we'll see then how to draw the first of all frequency polygon with the help of the histogram now see this On the <coughs> x-axis, the scale is 1 cm is equal to 1 kg and on the y-axis, 1 cm is equal to 2 kg. That is 17 to 18. Then this is the midpoint. Draw this histogram accurately. Then join this. Now again the in the first centimeter, I had written their green line. And before that, one class is there whose frequency is 0 for the class 17 to 18. Now one class is there whose frequency is 0 for 17 to 18 and for the last class that is a 24 to 25 the frequency is 0 and taking the midpoints of all these histograms and join with the scale then you will get the frequency polygon with the help of the histogram. Now we will see how to draw frequency polygon with the help of the points now see this these are the points that is see the points are like this that is 17 18.5 20.5 and in this way all the points are there now to draw again the frequency polygon with the help of the points now see this these are the classes that is a they are written as that is a class mark but i have written here the, only the classes and the class mark are here now see this here now the class see this the class 17 to 18 18 to 19 is written as same thing but the class marker is that is the midpoint of this 
midpoint of this midpoint of this then and then the student will get the something that is known from this point that is a 17 to 18 on the axis and in this way you can draw the histogram with the help of the points now see this these two figures are important let us take this scale as it is and for the second one take the midpoints of these points and join it therefore it is easy to understand when we draw the frequency polygon with the help of the points that is a coordinate that is write these classes in regular way and take their midpoints then you will understand it some more accurately now we'll see the next example show the frequency that is polling data show by the frequency polygon electric electricity bill it is in rupees and the number of the families 0 to 200 to 40 200 to 400 that is a 300 400 to 600 450 800 to 600 to 800 350 800 to 1000 they are 160 now again i have not drawn this uh, frequency polygon for this you can draw this for this you can take the midpoint again they are midpoint that is a class mark and the point and then join it you will get the frequency polygon but one thing is that that is a 0 to 200 this is the first class and before that it will be minus 200 to 0 and again there is uh, that is a negative bill is not for uh, the electricity bill and therefore we take as a 0 0 as a starting point for this histogram therefore i think that we will draw this part. for the next the following table shows the classification of percentage of the marks of the student and the number of the student draw a frequency polygon from the table that is the result percentage 30 to 40 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100 and their numbers. That is the number of the students that is 7, 33 and number of the students are 7, 33, 45, 65, 47, 18 and 5. Now see this again. First is a class. The classes are continuous. They are class mark, frequency. The first class will be the 20 to 30 frequency 0, the point is 25 0 and in this way the last is 100 and now see this here 90 to 100 and, and after that 100 to 100 to 110 the frequency is 0 and the point is 105,0. 0. Now see this the graph. That is Here we draw the histogram with the help of the classes that is a 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and in this way draw the first of all histogram. Take the midpoints of all these histogram points and the midpoint of this that is a 20 to 30 and last is 100 to 110 and join this. Take the scale on the x-axis 1 cm is equal to 10% on the y axis, 1 central is equals to 10 students, and you will get the frequency polygon with the help of the points. Now, next we'll see the frequency polygon with the help of the points. Now, the same class is I had written, there is no confusion. That students always get the confusion about these points. But I had written the same class is here. But the midpoint of this is their class mark. And every point is plotted here. And you will get the frequency polygon using the coordinates of the points. That is a class mark and the frequency. You can see this the scale. points on the x-axis and y-axis join this point join with the help of the scale 
anything there? See you later. Next. Now, next question. Draw a histogram for the following frequency distribution. Use of the electricity units. That is 50 to 70, 70 to 90, 90 to 110, 110 to 130, 130 to 150, 150 to 170. And the numbers of the families. That is 150, 400, 460, 450, 600 and 350. Now again the classes are continuous. What is the first class? That is a 30 to 50. And what about the last? 170 to 190. Take their frequency as a 0. You will get this step. Now we will see how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of the stroke. Now see this. That is 30 to 50, 50 to 70 and in this way the classes are here. On the y axis the number of the families also at the same time see this scale on x axis 1 cm is equal to 20 units on the y axis 1 cm is equal to 100 families. Draw the first step on this scale. Take their midpoints, midpoint of the first class that is 30 to 50 and the last is 170 to 190 and then join this one. That is this figure you will get the histogram and the second is frequency polygon. Now we will see the frequency polygon. Same figure. That is with the help of the points. I had written the classes as you see before. Figure. Use of the electricity. Number of the families. Same scale is there. And take the midpoint of this which is the class mark. Midpoint of this class mark. And in this way, you will get the frequency. Now, this is the graph that I want to show here. Now, see this. Same thing is here. Here is the classes. And take the midpoints as the class mark and join this. You will get the frequency polygon with the help of the coordinates of the points. Now, we'll see the next example. Now the next example that is in a handler factory different workers take the different period of the time to view a side. The number of the workers and their required period are given below. Present the information by frequency polygon. Number of days and the number of the workers. 8 to 10, 5, 10 to 12, 16, 12 to 14, 30, 14 to 16, 40, 16 to 18, 35 and 18 to 20, they are the 14. Draw the histogram, draw the frequency polygon with the help of the histogram and without with the help of the coordinates. Now we see. Now here the classes are continuous, therefore the table that is a class, they are the dates, class mark, frequency, coordinates of the points. Now we'll see that is how to draw. The frequency how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of histogram and with the help of the coordinates now see this now we have the classes are on the x-axis that is 6 to 10 8 to 10 10 to 12 12 10 to 12 12 to 14 and in this way that is a class which are in the days and the number of workers on the y-axis the scale x axis 1 cm is equal to 2 days and on the y axis 1 cm is equal to 10 workers. I had drawn the histogram here and take their midpoints and then join it. The midpoint of the first class whose frequency is 0 that is also here. The midpoint of the last class whose frequency is 0 that is also denoted. Now see this. Now we'll see how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of the points. Now again keep the points as it is. See this 6 to 8. Here's also 6 to 8. And next, that is their points. Frequency is 0. Join this. 
draw this point, plot this point, and join by using the scale. Same scale is there because of therefore you do not require to worry about this how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of the points if you practice this then you will get the frequency polygon with the help of the histogram and with the help of the coordinates of the point now next now see this the question number seven the time required for the student to do a science or experiment science experiment and the number of the student is as shown in the group frequency distribution table. Show the information by histogram and also by the frequency polygon. Again, I have drawn the do both of them. That is, first is class, that is a 20 to 29. But what is the first class? This is a 18 to 20. Class mark is frequency is 0. And in this way, you will get the table. Now we'll see how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of the first of all histogram now see this now see this the scale x-axis 1 cm is equal to 2 minutes and y-axis 1 cm is equal to 2 student x-axis the green line and the first class 18 to 20 frequency is 0 and the last is 32 to 34 frequency is 0 draw the first of all histogram take their main point and draw this show the frequency in polygon and the histogram then you will get the complete idea how to draw the frequency polygon with the help of the histogram now we will see the frequency polygon with the help of the coordinates and the points now same scale is there, that is 18, 18 to 20, same thing is here, join these points, you will get the discovery, now see this. Now next. Next problem, draw a frequency polygon for the following group of frequency distribution table. Now see this. Now here is a table. The age of the donor years and the number of the blood donors. 20 to 24, that is a 38, 25 to 29, 46. 30 to 34, 35, 35 to 39, 24, 40 to 44, 15, 45 to 49, 5. And in this way, now see this, the classes are not continuous because we have to make the classes as continuous. The first class is here 15 to 19. Make it continuous. Find out their class mark frequency and you will get the corresponding table. Now see this. Now you can see this more accurately now. Now we'll draw the frequency polygon with the help of the histogram. Let us see. Now see this on the x-axis, the classes is given on the y-axis, the number of blood donors is given, the scale. On the x-axis, 1 cm is equals to 5 years. On the y-axis, 1 cm is equals to 10 blood donors. And in this way, again by joining the midpoints of the histogram and the midpoint of the previous class and the midpoint of the last class, we can have the frequency polygon with the help of the histogram. The same thing is here but when the points with the help of the points to draw the histogram to draw the frequency polygon the points are here join these points 
fiber scale and you will get the frequency polygon with the help of the points of series. Now in this way, my dear student, I have tried to explain to draw the frequency polygon with the help of histogram and with the help of the points, that is without help of the histogram. I am sure that you understand this and in the board example, you will definitely uh, solve this question, you will get the full credit. Now we will see in the next video, till then, goodbye.